اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم How to improve model fit in case you get a poor fit for your model? Now here is a process model that one can use to improve the overall model fit. The first step, you have to set up your data. Check the data for incorrect inconsistent values. Now there is a video on the channel on how to check and correct the inconsistent values. Assess the missing values and perform data imputation. Second, build your model in AMOS. Check for low factor loadings and then you can obviously if your model is good there are no issues with standardized residual covariances there are no modification issues or modification indices issues you can directly report your measurement model but if there are issues then you have to look for these steps look for low loadings stepwise delete your loadings and keep rerunning your model it's just like trial and error assess the modification indices and only draw covariances between error terms of a same construct check for standardized residual covariances that are greater than 2 delete item with high residual covariances and finally you report your model now moving on so how do i assess this model first of all let's see if we've got the data file so we click here to load the data file and yes we've got the data file if if there is no data file just go to file name and locate your file and it will be loaded here by clicking open button now look at the properties analysis properties go to output yes we need standardized estimates yes we need squared multiple correlation residual moments modification indices yes greater than 4 you can increase it to let's say 10 you can correlate the estimates covariance of estimates for now let's leave it to 4 as default now you click calculate estimates now here are your results by the look of it it looks pretty high and your chi-square is significant so the model fit is not that good but still this is a high sample size so that might be an issue so let's look at the model fit first is the model fit good look at the c min this should be less than 5 so this is greater than 5 look at the agfi and gfi less than 0.90 Look at the CFI, less than 0 0.90. Look at the TLI, less than 0 0.90. Look at RMSEA, way over 0 0.08. Where is your SRMR? So in order to run with SRMR, I'm going to show you that a bit later. But we need to improve this model. So the first step, look at the estimates. You click estimates and look at these standardized regression weights. Anything less than 0.5? Well, this one here is slightly over 0.5. So, shall we delete it? For now, let's keep it. And if at later stage, if we need to delete it, we can delete it because it's uh, pretty low. So, let's go to modification indices and look here. Covariances, modification indices. So, it's look at this one. E11 in E12. Well, this is way over the the four mark this is 74 so let's draw a covariance between e11 e12 let's finish it let's go to our view input model and click here e11 and e12 just drag the covariance from e11 and put it onto e12 now let's rerun the model Let's look at the model fit. Well, it did improve, but not that much. So let's go back to modification indices. So E10 and E11. We cannot draw this E10 and SL. But for now, let's look at E10 and E11. E8 and E11. So where is E10, 11 and E8, 11? Let's run the model. Look at the modification indices again but let's first look at the model fit well yes it's closing improved still quite a long way to go for agfi modification indices look at this one e6 e10 e5 e8 e4 e5 let's look at e5 e8 e4 e5 can we draw between e5 e8 no we cannot because e5 is 
with SL and E8 is with FB. The other one was, let's go back. E5, E8 cannot be done. E4, E5 can be done. E1, E2, E4, E5. Let's run the model. Look at the output. Model fit. Well, yes, this has improved. Look at the modification indices. Anything that we can do? 7, 11. Let's, uh, actually, let's do it like this. Can we do E5, E8? No, we can't. Can we do E5, E11? No, we can't. E6, E10? No, we can't. Look at the bigger ones. E2, E11, E2, 10. No, not possible. E1, E2 and E1, E5 is possible. So let's do E1, E2. E1, E2, E1, E5. Let's run the model. Look at this. It's improving. Look at the output. Model fit. Here. Yeah. Well, it's approaching 5. This one is good. Now, we've, we've been drawing these, but it's not significantly improving your fit indexes. Now, what we need to do now is let's go to estimates, matrices, standardized residual covariances. Now, look at this here. Standardized residual covariances. Look at this. 2, 4, 2. So, SL3 is one of the indicators in servant leadership that is causing an issue. So let's remove SL3. How do you remove it? Select this cross button and we go to SL3 and we remove it. Now let's run the model. Look at your model fit. Well, yes, this is improved. This is quite good. Improved. This is good. This is not very good. Look at RMSCA. Well, no, this is poor. Let it look at the estimates again. Standardized regression, well, this is again pretty low, so we can remove this as well if we want. Let's look at modification indices. Well, we cannot draw any other one, so I think this is quite an issue. Let's look at standardized residual covariances. Well, this is SL6, still quite problematic. The rest actually looks quite fine. Yeah, apart from this one. So shall I delete all of them from servant leadership or we can delete from FP as well? Because this is a covariance. So if you are deleting too many items from the single construct, that might affect your validity. So let's remove FP5 and let's remove SL6. FP5 and SL6. Your model did run, but look at the chi-square value. Why? Because you did not fix the parameter. You have to create a reference point. So we deleted that indicator that had the reference point. So in this case, now double click on this one, go to parameters and fix the parameter to one because this will serve as a reference point. Now run your model. Go to model fit. Well, this is good. Very close to 0.9. Very good. Very good. Very good. Look at RMSCA. Well, this is quite poor. Let's look at SRMR. So what we do is we go to plugins and standardized RMR. Now what you need to do is rerun your model and look at this 0 0.03. This is very good. Other than RMSEA, all other indicators or all other indicators for model fit are good. So you can say that you've got a reasonable fit for your model.